Hey VC, good morning. This is uh, Glenn Kellaway, your low-end music freak, back with another video. This is in response to Carson Tucker's recent video on his 10 favorite Beatles songs. I love Carson's channel. He's a young man with so much enthusiasm, so much passion for music. I love it. I hope uh, you guys will all support him. We need to uh, we need the younger generation to be uh, passionate and keep uh, some of our favorite artists uh, alive. So uh, Carson, um, I love your channel. I also want to give a shout out to my nephew Jack who started a channel, it's called JT Media. Uh, Jack's only has one video so far which was an entry into my contest, but uh, he's gonna do a lot more. He reminds me so much of Carson. They're both about the same age and they both share this passion and they both love the Beatles which uh, which endears them to me very much. So I love this idea, top 10 Beatles songs. Um, I'm gonna start with number 10 and work my way up to number one. So number 10, I'm gonna try and show some albums here as I'm going along, got my box set in front of me. Uh, number 10 would be off of, I know it's on this album, Magical Mystery Tour, Penny Lane. Love Penny Lane. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, I visited uh, England and did the Beatle uh, trek in uh, 1999 and I have a picture of myself standing at the roundabout in Penny Lane. Uh, so number 10 is Penny Lane. Number 9. Well, it's on the same album. Uh, All You Need Is Love. Vividly remember in June 67 watching the Beatles on the uh, first satellite world satellite feed on the show called Our World when they did All, All You Need Is Love live. It was an incredible uh, performance. Just a great song. The lyrics will never get old. Uh, just a beautiful, beautiful song. All You Need Is Love. Number nine. Number nine. Number nine. No, that's not in the top ten. Uh, next is a song that didn't appear on any Beatles albums. So it was released on the Beatles Past Masters, and that's Rain. I love the song Rain. Um, it was the uh, B-side of uh, Paperback Rider, I think. Um, love Ringo's drumming in that song. Happy birthday, Ringo. Uh, if you any, have anybody say, oh, Ringo sucks and he's just the luckiest guy in the world, and he's a crappy drummer, just put Rain on and tell them to listen to that and uh, throw it in their face. Ringo's a great drummer. That's one of his best performances as a Beatle, I think. Rain, number eight. Number seven. Richard Dolan's going to be mad. A Day in the Life off of my favorite album of all time, Sgt. Pepper's Lonely Hearts Club Band. What can you say about A Day in the Life? It's just an epic song. Uh, John's part and then Paul came up with the Woke Up, Get Out of Bed, and they joined those together and just turned it into a masterpiece. Great song off the best album ever made. Okay, uh, Day in the Life. Okay, now we're going with some older Beatles stuff. From A Hard Day's Night, You Can't Do That. I love that song, just a rockin' song. One of my favorite John songs, uh, You Can't Do That. It's been a favorite of mine since it came out in 64. Um, great, great song. Okay, that is number six. So number five, we're back to Sgt. Pepper's. Not a lot of people's favorites, but in my top ten. George Harrison's Within You, Without You. Again, lyrically, just a beautiful song. I love Indian music. That sitar is fantastic. The tablas, the drums are incredible. Uh, great, great song from George. Definitely, that's my fifth best Beatles song of all time. Number four, let's go back to Magical Mystery Tour, one of the original songs from the EP and from the film, I Am the Walrus, another great John song. Just uh, killer lyrics, uh, so abstract, and uh, uh, just a great, great song. Okay, number three, a Paul ballad, which I think is just beautiful for no one off of Revolver. Beautiful, beautiful song. I don't know what else to say about it. Just a gorgeous piece of music for no one. Number two. 
off of the Help album. Another big single, Ticket to Ride. I just love Ticket to Ride. I love the guitar in it. I love the vocal performance. Just a great, great song. That's my second favorite Beatles song. Uh, Ticket to Ride. And now, number one. Can I do a drum solo? <laughs> number one song. The only album that's on. Magical Mystery Tour. Ladies and gentlemen, Strawberry Fields Forever. Strawberry Fields is my favorite Beatles song. Uh, when I stood in front of the gates at Strawberry Fields, it was very emotional. Uh, John uh, brings a lot of references of his youth in that song. Um, it's just really a song about childhood and innocence and uh, and just an amazing song. One of the greatest songs ever written and definitely my favorite Beatles song. So that's my top 10. Now I have to give an honorable mention to a song on Revolver, Here, There and Everywhere. It holds a special place in my heart because when Lynn and I got married, we used that as our wedding song. So Here, There and Everywhere gets a very special spot. I'm not even putting it in the top 10, I'm just putting it on a pedestal by itself because it has such a special meaning for me and my beautiful wife, Lynn. Anyway. Thank you so much, Carson, for doing that. I enjoy doing that. Anytime I can talk about the Beatles, I want to talk about them. So, um, yeah, give me more um, motivation to do more Beatle, uh, Beatle videos. That's great. Um, please subscribe to Carson's channel. He's the coolest dude on the, on the planet. Thank you very much for watching. Take care.